partake. I can scarcely remember a single leader that has written back or called me back and has asked me to forgive them, promising a new start and a new relationship with the past never being brought up again. And I've been doing this for 26 years. Which is why leaders have territorial fights in South America, Central America. The police come, they're fighting over sheep, they're fighting over land, they're fighting over buildings. They come packing weapons to protect their turf in Brazil. That's how the church in many places in Brazil operates. The pastors are packing weapons to protect their church and their assembly and their offerings from another pastor who's coming after the tithing sheep who are now taking away the tithe from his ministry and giving it to a new ministry. Wow. So mark my words. I'm not saying this to be hard on leaders because I am one. I am a leader. But I'm saying to you, if it's forgiveness you want, if it's restoration you want, if it's a new start with the past never coming up again and having a better relationship after the reconciliation than you ever had before, oh, it's not going to happen with leaders. They've got a turf to protect. They've got an image to protect. So they'll get up on Shabbat, usually on a Jewish Saturday, and tell you, the Bible says 70 times 7. You must forgive your brother. Brother, if you're not forgiving him, not once, not twice, but 70 times 7, you are not walking in forgiveness. As you who have lived, those liars, then that's who they are. They're not sincere. Didn't it just tell us that Bidi Kachamet is a search for sincerity yes. and amen? Yes. Yeah. As you who are lives, they have not, I have not seen one single response of forgiveness that I can recall. I may be missing one or two, but there's certainly not many where I would have remembered that. And I make it my business every year before Pesach to try to contact people and meet with them and reconcile with them. And the response oh, okay. is zero if they are leaders or they have aspirations for leadership. When I want forgiveness and reconciliation, I have to go to you, the people. And that is why Yeshua dealt so harshly with the Prushim and the Sofrim. They would not repent, they would not forgive, they would not uh, change, have a change of heart, and he went directly to the people. And the word says, the multitudes of Israel heard Yahshua gladly. I'll say that again. The multitudes of Israel heard Yeshua gladly. Con alegría. See? La gente dice that. Pero los líderes, no. Not for, when it comes to pardon, no, 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 no. But they get up on Saturday, Sabado, 70 times 7, brother. How can you be a born-again messianic and not forgive? And they themselves have never forgiven once. Now, they will forgive sheep because they need sheep to run their enterprise. They need sheep to run their operation. But they will not forgive another leader because of their... They, they, be, they become entrenched, they become entrenched in territorialism. Almost like a gang. It is, it is exactly what it is. Do you follow me? So are they really looking for chametz? No. They're not looking for chametz, they're looking to protect their territory. I just thought I'd share that with you as a side note. Verse 12, for what business do I have, and I pray, every year I pray, People say, well, what happens when you were in the union? Oh, As Yahuwah lives. I reached out to the people in the union, and I asked to talk by phone, not by email. And I got no written. I said, no, we're not ready to talk. Hello? Wow. Uh, uh, what verse are you referring to now? What command of Yeshua? We are not ready to talk? What, is, what about the 70 times 7 business? Then I reached out to others. Did no answer. It's like, I know how to deal with Moshe. I know how to deal with this one. I know how to deal with that. I won't answer them. Because then I don't have to deal with my spirit, which is bitter and unforgiving. But if Moshe can give them a ministry, and if Moshe can send sheep their way, and I could, I could benefit their congregation, 
they pick up the phone in a heartbeat. In a minute. Mm -hmm. All about networking and making money. Verse 13. Mm. Yep. I'm sorry, verse 12. For what business do I have with judging those that are in the Olam Hazen? But you must judge those who are in the Israelite congregation. Uh-huh. And judgment begins where? At the house of Yahuwah. And if judgment begins with us, what shall be the end of those who obey not the best Amen. Amen. Amen? So we must judge those. Are you in the Israelite congregation? Are you and I in the Israelite congregation? Yes. So where does judgment begin? Right here. Your heart. Don't worry about screening out Daryl when you've got issues to work on for the next hundred years. Your job is not to straighten out Wilbur. Your job is to come to the table asking for, not just forgiveness, but having contacted the people that you know have ought against you and you against them and trust you who are for a full reconciliation mm. so that the ending friendship is better than the former friendship. Not just, well, we're on speaking terms. That, that's the best we can do. No. <laughs> No, not just speaking oh, terms, wow. that the latter friendship is stronger and more fortified than the former ever was. That's true moving on, and that's true for you, and most of you can't say that. Because you think if you pick up the phone, you say, I'm sorry, and you hang up, that the, the deed has been accomplished, and you who is pleased with your but Not at all. Uh oh. The fruit of the friendship has to be greater than it was prior to the disagreement and prior to the falling out. Uh-oh. Mm. Mm. Wow. So we have the call versus the Homer. The the Homer is Chametz is a process. Another person says, no, nope. Chametz is anything that has bread products. No. Nope. Another person, another group says, no, nope. Chametz is anything that rises. Yeah, but what happens if it doesn't have any yeast? Doesn't, doesn't matter. If water makes it rise, if anything that grows, anything that grows, water, or with any other thing, even if it's not yeast, is coming. So then there's someone else who says, no, anything that grows on its own, any food or thing that grows on its own, is coming. So let me ask you a question. My toes, my nails, they grow. They grow on their own. Comments. Cut them off. <laughs> so are my nails comments? Should I cut my nails permanently? I can't do that. So should I cut off my 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 toe? Because I don't want the comments growing back. Ten toes. Yeah. Or should I or should I reattach my my toe after Pesach? You see how silly this gets. Yes. So Yeshua is sitting up there saying, "Look, friends." I was the Pesach Se Ha Elohim. Not because my cupboard was cleaned according to the Orthodox Union of New York. Uh oh. <laughs> but because no one in Israel or in the Olam Hazet could convict me of sin and I was qualified to be the Se Ha Elohim. And that's what qualifies you as having gotten rid of the Chameh. Mm -hmm. What condition is your heart, your spirit, your mind toward Yahuwah, which is the what? The vertical relationship and horizontally towards your brother. When you got that right, now I'll read your PDF file. Now you can read my PDF file. Uh -oh. We can exchange information. <laughs> Matter of fact, I have some old floppy disks that I haven't used oh my in a couple wow. of hundred years. Remember Floppies? those floppy disks? Yes. Right? Yeah. And we and we'll go see what kind of, and then we'll compare lists. Oh, yo, 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 yo. Wow. But until you become the Pesach sacrifice, we need to major on the majors and not major on the minors. Amen. Amen. So that a man who goes to that table, Yom Shi Shi, right out there, with clean hands and a pure heart, can ascend Yahuwah's holy hill, whereas a man who is not right with Yahuwah and not right with his fellow man, but has a perfectly chametz free closet and cupboard and kitchen and basement and garage and storage area is eating the Pesach with defilement and mercy and will be judged by Yahuwah accordingly with sickness or with permanent sleep also known as death. Mm -hmm. 
You know it. This is a serious business. Serious. Brother Darrell shared that with us in a word.